Here at the ARA conference in Palm Springs, California, we're talking with futurist and business strategist Dan Burris with Burris Research. When you talk to groups like this, so not always are you talking with an agriculture group, obviously, but any type of group and any type of business, they're obviously having to deal with change. We know there's a lot of change in agriculture, and the theme here is how do you manage that change, make it work for you? What do you say to a group like this? Well, first of all, it seems that there's so much uncertainty out there. Uh, we look at the economy, you look at health care, you look at the prices of commodities. Uh, it seems like the world is full of uncertainty. And the problem is, from a business standpoint, strategy based on uncertainty has high risk. So you have to ask yourself, what are you certain about? Are you certain about nothing, or do you actually have some things that you are certain about? Now, anyone that's in agriculture knows that there's something called cycles. After winter will be spring, followed by summer. And that is a certainty. Now, weather may not be a certainty, but climate is. Uh, there are also, from a retail standpoint, selling cycles. And uh, they are actually quite predictable, just like there are billing cycles from your bank or from your credit card company or from anyone else. In other words, you know, maybe there is some certainty out there. Uh, let's talk about our, um, our, a shift that's taking place that, uh, that we can be certain about. There are two fundamental revolutions taking place right now faster than anything we have ever seen, and they will affect every single person that I'll be speaking to today and that is watching this uh, interview. One is a hardware revolution, technology hardware revolution, and the other is a software revolution. So let's talk just a minute about the hardware revolution. Long time ago, the only way uh, that you could access a computer was to use a mainframe and a terminal. That was your only choice. That's all there was. Um, and then technology advanced far enough that you could use a desktop. Now, it's important to know that the mainframes and terminals didn't go away, but now we also had a desktop, and that became our primary tool. Uh, then technology advanced farther, and it became our laptop. So our laptop became our main tool, but again, desktops and mainframes didn't go away. Well, now our main tool is becoming a tablet and our smartphone. It's our main computing tool. It's getting that way more and more every single year. Again, the others aren't going away, but that's a main tool that we can use. So uh, that's, that's a revolution that is quite powerful because it's with us all the time. So a computer that is a multimedia computer that has uh, almost infinite storage thanks to putting that data up in a cloud, and we will soon, by the way, be putting processing power out in the cloud as we do with our data. What that means is that you'll have supercomputing capabilities on your cell phone with unlimited storage. Uh, wow, that's pretty powerful. Not to mention a tablet, which is a lot better to carry around uh, when you're doing uh, ag work as a grower than uh, carrying around a laptop with a hinge and a keyboard. Um, another, uh, the other revolution is the software revolution. One time, again, you had that big mainframe, enterprise, expensive stuff. Then it got down to package software, think Microsoft uh, Office. Uh, but now we've got this thing called apps. And the apps revolution allows you to take a smartphone or a smart tablet and customize the, uh, uh, the device for you because those little apps are inexpensive. You don't need an IT department. And they're very powerful because, again, they can be connected up to the cloud and to the web. Well, we're just about to have enterprise-level ag apps, uh, logistics apps, purchasing apps, all sorts of apps to help us make our decisions wherever we are because, again, we're making them from our mobile device. That is a very powerful thing. Now, back when I wrote uh, Advances in Agriculture in the mid-'80s, I was talking about how we'd be using precision farming, GPS, genetically modified plants. And when I was talking to uh, the ag audiences back then, much less any of the other audiences, they were all, now, oh, this guy's a little crazy. But as we all know, hey, I wasn't crazy. We were right on, on the mark. Well, once again, uh, that's because I was using the certainty principle. Just like in those smart devices like our cell phones, let me just ask everyone out there and ask you, will there be more storage on the device and in the cloud in the next version? And you know the answer is yes. And by the way, are you certain? And the answer is yeah. And if we've got streaming video coming in there now, Will it be high-definition streaming video? And the answer is, well, yeah. And in my Technotrends newsletter uh, a few years ago, we talked about a chip that was already invented. By the way, it's pretty easy to predict the future when it's already invented. 
and that chip could beam from your cell phone or your camera a picture on the wall so that the size of the screen no longer mattered. You could project it out, and those are actually starting to come on the market now. By the way, do you think that picture will get better every year? And are you certain? Yeah, okay, so you're, get, you're getting the handle of this now. Now, if we can project images out, if we've got high-definition video, if we've got more processing power and storage, and all that's happening, how that, might that affect training? Could we have just-in-time training using mobile devices? Just-in-time meaning getting the training when you need it to do something you've never done before. I pull that training in and get training as I do it on the spot. Now, is that going to be an if or a maybe, or do you think that's going to happen? It's going to happen. Now, we just talked about something pretty powerful. We're redefining how you train. We're also lowering our costs and delivering it just in time. On something, all based on something that is not an if or maybe we know what will happen. What else will happen? And I'm about to tell you we're going to transform how we sell, how we market, how we communicate, how we collaborate, how we train. We just talked about that one. And how we innovate. And we're going to do it in a super short period of time. That means there's tremendous opportunity. But right now, we've got a fog keeping us from seeing the opportunity, and that's called the news. The news creates a great fog, and it keeps us from seeing the mountain of opportunity that's being hidden by that fog. It's important for us to blow away the fog every now and then and see what's really there. And th what is there is rapid, revolutionary opportunity for all of us. So. It's not a matter of can we do these things. We know we can. We feel we can anyway, just based on what we've seen happen already. It's just applying that to these businesses here for ag retailers. How do they apply that to make their operation more successful? Well, you apply that by asking yourself after hearing this little interview, asking yourself, what am I certain about? For example, that annoying little fly that's flying around us. I'm not certain whether that fly will go and annoy someone else or stay with you and I now. I'm not certain about that, so that's not on our list. The fly, it's off our list. Um, and what's going to happen to um, uh, the, um, you know, the Congress after the, uh, the new year? You know, I, who knows? Not sure right now. All right, well, that's not on my list. But what if we started making a list of all the things we were certain about in terms of the... Uh, uh, what we can do with our products, with our services, what's going to be happening with, uh, based on these revolutions I just talked about. Uh, what do we know? For example, is China going to become a, a less of a user of ag products or more? Is India going to be less or, or more? Um, are we going to have uh, a huge number of people entering, huge meaning billions, that's a huge, number of people over the next several years entering the lower middle class wanting a different diet? And the answer is, yeah, you know, that's not an if or a maybe, that's a for sure. How many other for sures, how many other things are you certain about? Why don't you go back and make a little list and then ask yourself, are the strategies that we have in place in line with what we know is going to happen, or are we just reactionary? Now, here's the point. We spend a lot of our time putting out fires and reacting to change. But I'm saying that change is happening so fast now that we have to get out in front of it and anticipate it. And it seems counterintuitive because you think, well, you can't predict the future. But I just said you could. You can't predict all of it, but you can predict enough of it to actually strategically plan it out and be more anticipatory versus reactionary and be able to be ahead rather than behind the curve. Yeah, that would seem to be the key where in, to actually anticipate change and uh, be ready to accept it and use it rather than be forced to react to it, oftentimes grumbling along the way. Uh, if we'd have been more anticipatory, we wouldn't have been in that situation. Exactly. I mean, you know, a GM, uh, they, if you look at uh, before they went out of business, um, and uh, by the way, uh, Lehman Brothers, who disappeared from the planet Earth, uh, let me just ask you a question. Were all of the executives of GM and Lehman Brothers, and by the way, all those other companies that had difficulty, were they all really busy five years going up to going out of business or, or uh, almost going out of business? And the answer is, yeah, they were really busy. In other words, being busy is not going to save you. Uh, you've got to be strategic. And too often we're too busy to be strategic. And I'm worried about you if you're too busy to be strategic, especially in a time of transformational change. That is absolutely certain. I proved that to you in this interview. 
All right, Dan, thank you. Now all we got to do is get enough technology to take care of these flies. Exactly. <laughs> hey, thank you. Dan Burris, futurist and business strategist with Burris Research here at the ARA Conference in Palm Springs.